Soothing yet powerful. You want to watch on Capital 100.4 FM. The Healthy Home and Garden Show from Friday the 22nd to Saturday the 23rd of September at Zoo Parks Gardens, Corner Broadway Road and Sandringham Drive, Harare. Proudly brought to you by Zim Papers in partnership with Zim Parks. Enjoy a variety of exhibits including landscaping and gardening, hardware and building, solar and security systems and a whole lot more. There will also be lots of fun activities including game viewing, catch and release fishing, dry, jumping castles and many others. Entry is absolutely free. To exhibit, please call Spindleware on 0773-216-457 and Stephen on 0772-710-578 now. The Healthy Home and Garden Show. Fun for the whole family. Eight minutes past eight o'clock. Ndongwa, Pazim Papers Radio Broadcasting Division, Pastor FM sounding good all the time. Pamoshi Tega, Nekapito Kwa 100.4 FM, Harari's Heart it is a very warm welcome to the third and final hour of the Gospel Greats, which we call My Ultimate Gospel Ten. So we get up close and personal with our artists, personalities, right here on the two stations that I just mentioned. And you know that we've had Vanafeli Nandi, we've had Mambo Dutere, Re. Janet Manuel was here. Mike Mayendere was also here. One day, V Candy was here. Sister Tonight I'm totally honored to host a veteran broadcaster in her own right, a corporate brand and a colleague, a personal friend and a child to me, <laughs> one of my oldest children, can you believe, she's my 44-year-old firstborn, the mother is younger than the baby, but look, she's made a name for herself as Brand Ayati, and of course in 2012 she really came to the fore when she hosted a show in the breeze, Pano Pastor FM together with one my Judah, and she rose from being a presenter, programming manager, and he through her journey, her name is the Ayati, the Ayati full one. <laughs> Greetings, welcome. Wow. <laughs> that it's, intro, it never gets old. It never gets old. And um, you know, being on this side of the microphone, <laughs> trust me, trust me. That was the catch for yeah. me. Yeah. I thought it's right. Majeraga. Nasi tukumbo kudai. It's been that time. I remember I had you on fly on the wall. And I didn't know you kicked and screamed and you were biting and scratching. <laughs> <laughs> I, I eventually pulled you in. I remember even on the day you came and parked and I was so nervous. I, I also get nervous interviewing people. <laughs> and I was like, because I like to throw with my gifts. You know? Yeah, and yeah, eventually walked into the studio. But now I understand. I totally understand and I forgive How everyone. Really? <sighs> I'm all nervous, eh? I am so nervous. I'll tell you what, it's crazy because um uh, Miss Producer, a shout out to you, Val, hey. <laughs> spoke to me um I think when you first discussed the idea. Yes. When you're doing your, your preparations and your lineup. Yeah. And I I told them no. I said no. It was an outright. I, I, I didn't mince my words. Can see what I told them. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, well, you know, she's got a way. She kept working on me <laughs> over time. Yep. And uh, when she finally said uh, this week, 17 uh, September, I, I was like, whoops. So, yeah, I started working on my on my songs and my memories yeah. and the stories around them. And then it's it hit me. It really just hit me like a ton of bricks yeah. on Thursday night. For some strange reason, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> 
I, I tried to sleep. I tossed and turned for almost I two hours. Hey. Yeah. And then I just said, you know what? Get up and do it. So I got up and I did my final list. And then you sent to Valeria. Yeah. Which we have now. And really we are we're blessed to be having you. Happy belated birthday. Thank we you. see you glowing. You're looking fantastic. Please do go on over to our Facebook page on Star FM Zimbabwe. On Capital FM we are live. As well as my own page on Yvonne Tilachke. You can go and see. More on the machine. And really, we we just really wanted to touch base with you. We know there's so much more to Itai, Fiona, Takayende, so your government names that we know you by. There's a whole, your whole institution with a lot of departments. And I think that it's very important that we bring these and other things to the fore. Of course, as we get into your place of inspiration, Kono and all my songs, Kono and all inspiration to worship. And I'm looking at your number 10, Pane Kambuganon's Ditore, Family Singers. And these were some of the, in fact, these were, in fact, they're actually part of the pioneers of gospel music in yeah, Zimbabwe. Yeah. The family singers, Shuvai and Jonathan Mutaunashi. You take us back there. Why? Um, you know my story, and I've always told you as the presenter of, of gospel greats, that hey. um, there's that old-time religion. Yeah. And simplicity, mm. which is the ultimate sophistication, by the way. Yeah. I, my heart is there. It takes me back to that place. It takes me back to what faith meant to us then mm. you know I, I was groomed by my mother obviously who was groomed by my grandmother mm. and the whole family went to the same church so it was so easy as a family to gather kanamenda kumusha kukwazwin but this was my maternal grandmother mm -hmm. uh, may I so rest in peace uh, Ambia Teresa mm. she you know mungo unga na mkichen himbo kuroto buda Mm. And you know, your as your, 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 your grandparents get, get older, mm. they can't see, but they remember the hymns by heart. Yes. Yeah, they remember the hymns by heart. Because the hymns by heart and candlelight and I'm singing as well. I'm still 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 singing You know, that sort of thing. So it just takes me to that place, um, how we're anchored in the faith and how we, we grew up in the church. Mm. And all those sweet memories, going to Sunday school, uh, it's just wow. It's we so like sweet. That. It's we'll so simple. Love to hear yeah. that. We're gonna press play on the song. And It was on the Thailand's one in a young woman in the one on the guy. See, it's a combo. message of salvation that Ayati spoke about. Agati, kwa kakurewe sa kekari. 
Ipo kai kai ndo kati no nzu wakana tichi Ridza mimanzi ya kafana na neyoi Shuno titila shwaka na kai shuzo Ndukwana ma mesiji za kawanda ayati Anzi pano pasha na giza pano Wagona kani mfono wati gira ayati I love you ayati thank you so much I can't wait to hear more about ayati And I think that Because you're always on this other end of the microphone mm. Not many people know your actual story for example how broadcasting became a thing for you when it started and how you landed in 2012 on a show called the breeze interesting because i feel like i've told that story so many times i feel like i'm such an open book and everybody knows it anyway to cut it short in the interest of time um i I have a very cocky side to me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that a lot of people may not necessarily relate to the ayati that they see and feel and experience and hear now. Um, so when I was a teenager, it was even worse. At 19, I practically ran away from home. My way. <laughs> in disagreement with my father. <laughs> <laughs> so I ran away from home. I was in the city of Lawai. I was staying with my aunt and uncle of Sekuru Nambuya. Mm. And one day, you know, it was a very... Uh, strange time, I was trying to find myself, I was working a, a job, a menial job, which I felt and knew that, you know, this was not who I was, mm -hmm. I wanted more out of life, so one day I was listening to the radio, uh, it was the day off actually, and uh, I was listening to James Marie Daddy, mm -hmm. who at that time was doing that very popular show, uh, J uh, Junior Threes, mm -hmm. with Natasha from Warren Park, if you listen to James <laughs> Marie Daddy on uh, Junior Threes those days, mm -hmm. you would know Natasha from Warren Park, mm -hmm. so after the show, I called him, mm -hmm. in the studio for mm -hmm. 98654 <laughs> oh, I, <still> yes. <laughs> I called him and I challenged him and I said James look I like I like what you do you're fantastic but I think I can do better My uh, way. don't don't ask me why I was speaking to James <laughs> like this but uh, so <laughs> from there um, he, wa he, he was taken aback mm. he asked me a couple of questions he says listen all you, you need to do is to apply mm. So that's how I then applied mm -hmm. to the national broadcaster, and so yeah, uh, a couple got of the job. G got, G yeah, a couple of months later, I was called for the audition. Blah blah blah. And out of the audition, I think uh, it's a very uh, significant uh, story of my life. Three of us out of quite a number, I think well over 150 people, mm -hmm. made it. It was myself. It was DJ Munya, mm -hmm. and it was Brenda Nyakujira, who's uh, doing very well in communications in South Africa. Okay. Yeah, who didn't stay very long at the station. So yeah, I. I made it. I, I was just a dreamer, really. I was just a girl who believed in myself from Norway. Mm. I knew nobody. I was quite an underdog, mm. but I just believed in. That's that's how I got into broadcasting. Mm. Was that the question? No. That was the question. <laughs> and now we need to move on to number nine, <laughs> where I see that in your inspiration, in your songs that kind of draw you closer to our maker. You put in Brian Sivano, who is... Um, I think one of his popular songs is mm, yeah. But you've got Ndiri Mufambi mm. why, why Ndiri Mufambi? What's the relationship that you have with this song? I, I just liked Brian's uh, um, style and again these were the pioneers uh, the first people that we saw uh, singing mm. gospel music on TV mm -hmm. and um, he was young I think I was around that time uh, pre-teen or just I just became a teenager where I was beginning to realize that mm. uh, you know Men are men, and I'm a woman, and Brian was quite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Brian was exciting. He was a looker. He, he was a looker. He had the looks, he had the swag, yeah. he was different. Mm. But I'm a guy named Kamuka and uh, his style of singing, you know, that vibrato. Mm. It was my first time uh -huh. to actually really experience this because yeah. I went to a traditional stage. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't quite uh, as defined. So okay. that's how I was so drawn to, me, to his music, <laughs> and it just defines an era in my life. <laughs> Let us please play on this song that I actually likes.
hanging out with uh, vivacious. You know, Ayat is just so full of life, you know. When you're hanging out with Ayat, and of course, there's, there's that side of Ayat that she speaks about, the cocky side. I, 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 I really see that one. But, you know, there's that zest, that zeal for life. She's alive. Do you know what I mean? And it's, it's always just such a pleasure to hang out with you. And, and, and when I look at... Um, in the spirit of our conversation when i look at your number eight song it comes from a very radical woman as well ivy combo kasi and the song is uti zero she had so many other songs as well mama wakai to me south africa but you choose uti zero can you tell us why and also what is it that draws you to ivy combo kasi well um i'm a glenview child <laughs> <laughs> I, I was uh, born and raised uh, in, in Glenview. Mm. Ivy is also from Glenview. She's actually she uh, she was actually um, classmates with my sister, mm -hmm. yeah, for for a season. So, yeah, we, we just grew up seeing Ivy Combo. Um, her rise, we saw it. So I, you know, it's 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 those little things that uh, we take for granted as we. Uh, doing what we do mm -hmm. in, 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 in as as people in the limelight but um it it it, it carries a lot of people mm -hmm. from a similar background okay. when you s when you see someone rising from the same circumstances from the same neighborhood from a similar culture from uh, you get the drift yeah, so that's what uh, i really presented to me that uh, you can become anything mm. you can go on to you know uh, shine in the stars and also um Fast forward to a few la years later when I had actually started uh, at the National Broadcast, I then became involved with the Ngulaya Kwana Festival. Ah, yes. Yeah, right. yeah. I was, uh, I was the MC for, well, I was one of the MCs for two seasons, I think. Wow. Yeah, and it, it was quite a defining moment as well for mm. me. And that's another thing you may not know. Mm. I don't know if I've shared with you personally, mm. uh, but I know I've shared it in, in, on, on some platforms that um, I, I also got to present... Um, Shine On. You remember Shine On? Okay. The gospel show with uh, Pastor G and uh, Pastor Chakangwenya. Oh, with that one. Yes, we yeah. now re uh, uh, based in the United States. Mm. So I got to be co-opted onto that show as a way of grooming. So they also groomed me. And for a season, I, 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 I presented the gospel show on the then 3FM. <laughs> You can't believe it. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, we're going to press play on Ivy uh, Combo I see a woman, a strong woman in Borodo, someone who stands, Absolutely. you know, uh, in, in the midst of adversity, naysaying, she's there. And speaking of that strength of character, mm. uh, this song also speaks about Uti Zero. Mm. So sometimes when we are strong personalities, people think, like, at Kundike, we can't mm. be. But Tini Uti Zero, we have a place where we go, where yeah. we get our refuge. And I just think Uti Zero is so exotic sounding. If I had a son of
And I love what I actually said at the very end before we pl pressed play on this song. Pampochino, you don't really have to be strong in this in a situation. Yeah. Your strength will, will come from just understanding that there's somebody else who can carry the burden. Yeah. And look, I, I, I really want, want us to really get to know Ayati and that spiritual side of things. And I do know that um, there's, a, there's a very strong philanthropic side to you where you you like to impact people's lives positively you like to change little girls lives you like to change older people you had a marathon you had young people coming to the garden for a tea etc etc when did that start what 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 what, what was that did, did it start at 40 now you're 44 yeah mm -hmm. and and was it a, a turning the corner kind of thing no not quite um i've always been that that kid I've, I've always been that deep down i feel like i've always felt um like I, I want to help i've always felt like I, I need a lot of help mm. and so um i've always felt that i should also be the help that i i desire mm -hmm. yeah so i um yeah I, i've done it for a while sustainably obviously uh in the last four years it's, it's easier to point out like you, you rightly go back to the 48th uh, high tea mm. and you know with the girls and 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 all the things that i've done since but if you remember f uh back in the day with my judah i used to have mm. you know birthday giveaways mm. and we had a birthday do and you know and i've met so many people and impacted so many people so yeah uh, I, I, I believe that you know, in just walking in your true, authentic walk mm. and just being yourself, um, you touch lives. And that's, that. and that's what this privilege that I, I've been given, that we've been given, is all about. Indeed. Yeah. And I, I look at your number seven. There's a song by Fungisai. Fungisai is a dynamite gun. Fungisai and the Fungo Tanyazo. Oh, the Fungisai. And Fungo Tanyazo will explore. Fungisai is a dynamite gun. That's Fungisai. the thing. That's, and that, that's why she, she's sitting there. For me, uh, she's also an age ma mate. Mm. She also broke into the industry in this, at the same time, around the same time that I, I, I came into uh, broadcasting. We have together. So I've watched her grow. You know what I mean? Yeah. And with Fungisai, she's got nine lives. Muka misa kudansu. Muka jinasi. Iduku pisa ama pia. Yeah. I like the power of self-reinvention. Reinvention. Yeah. But there is her old sound in this top ten. Ndawi ande. Oh, yes. Tindu uza. It's just, again, you know, um... When you're such an extrovert and you're plugged in and your work and your life puts you in so many spaces where you're dealing with so many voices and so many people and the energies and it's an exchange of energies daily you like to go into that secret place you like to go uh, to retreat into that space where it's just you and your god mm. and so ndawe and dega for me is about that as i am dega because at the end of the day uchamira wega wakawia wega and for me an uh, individual individual strength and individual flair is mm. very important wow. to bring into the public space. You have to come and um, color the atmosphere with who you are. So mm. you always have to retreat. Mm. And you serve so much you've been given. Uriwe. Uriwe. Wow. Yeah. We press play on this one.
and the youth in her voice, the earnesty. I know, right? It's the songs that we know. It's the Uriba Road Trip. It's the Ujigo Rama Repeat. It's the Jena Ogadaro. Fungi Sainda Uyandega. But I also see a legend in, in, in your countdown. And it's uh, Pastor Charles Charamba. Who we affectionately know now is Baba. I think it's more befitting that mm. Baba Charles Charamba. Mm. And it's only number six. Baba Charles Charamba is my song. I don't know what Baba Charamba is my song. Yeah, yeah. Pama verses and chapters. Banana pango mapashoko. Banana exodus. Tinasha agatendeka. Johan 3 verse 16. Iwa chusa buruka. Yeah, again, I go back to that simplicity. Um, you'll find that, you know, the, the songs that I chose, I, I like, yeah, minimal clutter, like remove the clutter, let's go back to the main issue. What is the main issue? So I like, I like it when preachers, sometimes they just pick a word or a phrase and there's a whole sermon around that. And I felt that uh, Baba Sharamba did that in the song. I know what's going on in Well, for me, obviously, the most uh, 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 out there word is Buruka. Mm. You know, I remember she was Buruka. Mm. But have you noticed that there are such songs you repeat and you repeat and you keep, but in your spirit, you keep going higher. You yeah. keep, it keeps drawing you in and raising you and raising you and it takes you to a place. So I, I like that power. Mm. I like that power without like a wonder wonder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel that sometimes artists try too hard and I love artists who keep it simple and ah, he nailed it for me in this one. It's, it's just it's just a solid I love that. And clarity. when we come back, mm. we're going to just get a, a little bit more personal with you. Some of the things that you feel feel in the 44 years of life this I, sh I could have done better and some of the things that you're looking forward to doing better going on in your 45th 46th and things like that and we're just going to get a bit more personal with you when we come back from Uru. probably my witnesses innocent madara mapuranga homwe nyasha tota Mano waka wandi saka nini, maru kuko si ayati, ayati wedu, maru kuzi wakufara niwe. Look, and, and I know that it's it's that positive side that you have shown people is that, you know when, we're, when we open the platform, when we open the microphone, we're telling a story. Absolutely. We're painting a picture of who you really are. Yeah. And I think we've done that for the longest time now. But then I'd like to, to just kind of dig a little deeper with you so that we know you a little better. What are some of those qualities as you turn 44 that you look at about yourself and your character and you think, ah, this I'm not carrying over to 45 and you look at you know your journey going forward and you say these are the things that i'd like to change i could have done better interesting uh, um i like the person that i am becoming i like the person that i am um i actually feel that I, i've dropped things uh that were there in my in my 20s in my 30s that i need to, to take back up again i've been swallowing my my tongue a lot oh lately all right yeah and um, yeah, I <laughs> yeah, I have been swallowing my, my tongue back a lot. I I I I, I was saying to uh, uh, Clive Monon Kundu who, who celebrated his birthday on the um, on Friday, mm. a fellow Virgo, that I like I like who you've chosen to be, mm. and that's that's uh, who Virgos are. Mm outrightly outspoken mm. we say it like it is mm. but uh, I realize now I'm thinking more like it is than I actually get to say <laughs> I, I muzzle myself too much so I want to get back to that uh, sharp aged <coughs> self <laughs> where you can judge mm. I want okay. to yeah I want to, to be able to, to say exactly how I feel mm. yeah I don't think I, I, I serve uh, best when I when I don't express my mind and myself but uh, I need to get back to that Blunt. People used to call me blunt in high school. Nice. You're very blunt. And I think I, over the years I began to share away. I, 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 was, I was trying to confirm, but I think conformity is overrated. Mm. I am who I am. I'm meant to be the way I am for a reason, for a purpose. Mm. I want to get back to that self. I love that. Mm. Yeah. I look at number five. Prudence Katomeni Mbofana. Talk to me about that. That's the boss's wife. Shout out to you, boss Mbofana. And, <laughs> <laughs> and the song is Joy. Um, joy does come in the morning. Uh, yeah. Joy is uh, the reason for being, you know, you were talking about uh, how I'm full of life and vitality and mm. joy de vivre. It's just, yeah, live your life. Be, be joyful. And uh, weeping may enjoy for a night, mm. but we know that it doesn't last. Mm. So, even Simon Zirafa because um, 
when I go through trials and tribulations, like I'm telling you, I find that I can't quite confide in a lot of people anymore. Mm. And I just go deep inside. Mm. And so it's that joy comes in the morning. So I, I do lift myself up and I like that about myself. I, I just go deep inside and I come back stronger. So songs like this just represent that, that side of, um, you know. Yeah. Cool, let's press play on it. Look, 44 looks so hot, and it's unfair, do you know what I mean? Because I'm his mom, I'm under 40, <laughs> way under 40, like way under 40, but I look like I'm young. I look like I'm, I, I look, man. But look, it's all right, I'm the mom, anyway. <laughs> You are the mother. Yeah. It is well. Yeah. So I also see that you've got uh, Mary Mary there mm -hmm. with In the Morning. Is it a personal story of yours that you have actually seen Joy come in the morning for you? You've yes. actually ha had to wait yes. for things to happen to yes. you. Yes. Absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. Tell us about, about this one with Mary Mary. Same, same spirit, same energy, and um, you see that uh, my, my whole list is, mm. is Zimbabwean, mm. but this is the one track that um, I don't even really um, listen to all of it like <laughs> when they're singing the verses, mm. but the chorus mm. really represents that spirit of joy coming in the morning, like mm. in the morning, mm. the sun's going to shine. I, I really relate to it. Are you a morning person yourself? Do you wake up at 5.30? No, I'm not a morning person by default, but... Uh, I can, I can, I am very disciplined. I can. That I can attest to. Yeah. Look at Ayati's body bodying <laughs> because she runs <laughs> when no one is chasing her. She runs <laughs> kilometers. So I can, I can, I can purpose in my mind and we'll do it. But yeah, I, I do struggle with mornings, but uh, obviously this is, they're not, it's not the literal morning that these songs are talking about. It's, you know, the next season yeah, after trouble. 
you know, things will get better. Nothing lasts forever. And yeah, I believe in that totally. True. We're pressing play on this one. When we come back, we come back with IRT's top glasses on. Yes, yes, it's my driving song. Yes. You got it. You got it. (laughs) I've known you for long enough, girl, (laughs) to know that you would bounce to this one. It's your top three now. And I know that Mr. Vickers is looking at the time and thinking, okay, girls, can you wrap it up? (laughs) (laughs) But look, it's just been such an honor to get into your private space like that and understanding you from a spiritual perspective. On number three, ah, there's a song that my mother totally loves. I think that's one of her favorite Chipostori songs. Mm. And for for her, she says that it's when she has no words, Mm. when she doesn't know how to pray because baby, no, but it's true. She goes to that hymn yeah. as a go-to. Ishendings when ukufara babatwa Jehovah. Talk to us about it. Yeah, just like you shared uh, about my gogode. Um, it's it's a powerful song that really you sing in, in those low moments. Mm. You you feel pretty only God. Mm. There are so many only God situations. Mm. Puti is okay. Even in you, mm. <laughs> I'm, in in watch, I'm standing in my own way. Yeah. Let me remove myself and, mm. and totally surrender and ishendings on Kufara. So it's an old hymn. I think it's in the, the book of traditional hymns. Mm. Uh, AFM, I think, the, the, the one that everyone has adapted. Yeah. And then, of course, Wabatiwa Jehovah just came in with that brand of music. Mm. And they, they really put it on the map and just made it so attractive and I like people who do that because uh, it was sort of an underdog uh, that sect mm. in, in terms of the faith and how everybody views things mm. but they came in and they mainstreamed it mm. and it became fashionable again actually yes yeah. let's press play on this one Andy. 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 one never gets old yet. This one just never gets old. Taura is going to seem totally loving this song. Mr. Kamu Mr. Kamu Gani, this is a day at break. So, ha, 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 
this was my track <laughs> <laughs> on repeat oh my gosh beautiful stuff but my man was very bad my man was very broken at it it's okay but look it's like before we release you on number two is god loves people hmm. it's point of grace i want you to briefly speak about that but i also wanted to talk about the brand ayati where it's going and how different really it is from itai fiona tagaendes yeah um the ayati <laughs> But this is not a, a, a question I can answer quickly. I know. In a, in a background story, but uh, look, there are two separate entities. The IIT brand really um, represents that uh, uh, forward thinking, positive thinking, um, just living life to the fullest. Mm. But I also live my life like that. So the IIT brand also speaks mm. to Fiona Itai Tagaindes because Fiona also follows the IIT brand. Oh, wow. So, yeah. It's that. Mm, yeah. Point of grace. Short. Yeah. Okay. Point of grace, God loves people more. God loves people. I, I discovered this song uh, in a season... Was it here? Uh, I, I, remember, I, I remember it was on radio, and I used to finish all my shows with this song. Um, at that point, I, I just learned so much about the love of God and how it manifests and how it operates in my life, and I just wanted to share that with the next person. Mm. And so, yeah, I believe it's simple enough. It sends the message mm. to those who need to hear the message. Fantastic. The Great Commission, mm. yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. The Great Commission. The interview that I had with this powerhouse of a woman. I don't think we celebrate you enough, IRT. There's just so much that we can learn. People don't know. Guys, they, I need to tell you this before we leave. <laughs> IRT is one of the cleanest people I know. <laughs> I just one of the most principled people I know. I'm what you get. This is this is a day day. I actually is just goals in so many ways. Ah, uh, stop it, stop it. I'm right here. It's an interview. You ask me. Don't talk about me. We totally <laughs> love you as we leave you right now, and we wish all the very best with Ayati brand and everything else. That there, there were personal questions that came in. Goodie, who is the better half in Ayati's life? To to to. Mr. Ayati. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. But number one in your life in terms of gospel songs is a very unconventional choice. It's the Kiyama boys, Itai. Yes. Thank you. Hey. Thank you for, for saying unconventional. Mm. Um, I, I feel that uh, a lot of times when we think gospel, when we talk gospel, we get very boxed. We get very pretentious. We want to be holy. <laughs> you know, like... Uh, and I want to say... 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 We are the very same people. Mm. We are the people that litter the streets. We are the people... I have a corner stand. I've always talked about this. Yeah. And yeah. We are those people. So let's just be real. I feel that if we are more real, we we we, we are more authentic and it, it serves us better. Nah. Yeah. And this is a gospel song. Oh. For me, it's real. It's very Zimbabwean. It's 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 it's, it's you you can't mistake it for anything else. Wow. The sound, <laughs> and that that is one of my favorite sounds. And again, it's another thing that I find people are so I don't know people in labels. I'm not allowed, mm. if I may say that, mm. I am not allowed in quotes mm. to like openly mm. and and unashamedly and unapologetically to like sungura music. Mainstream music. No, sungura. Just sungura. Just sungura. I'm not going to so good. I know. I know. Why? Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. I embrace all things Zimbabwean. Sungura speaks to me in a very, very deep way. And I think this song is a masterpiece. Mm -hmm. And that's why I put it at number one. It For me, it, it encompasses all things. I like it. 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 I like
I love yes. it. <laughs> okay, it just stands by it. Yes. Ayati, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Please do feel free to come back. When you think about other 10 <laughs> songs, this is your home. When you have other 15 more, hey. call us and come back. This was, this was one of my most difficult assignments. So yes, I deserve to come back. You deserve I to come back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming. And of course, let me also just thank you guys for listening. We'll do this again same time next week. Saviors, the secret ingredient, is waiting for you on Capital 100.4 FM, Harare's Heartbeat, as well as right here on Star FM sounding good all the time. Puru Wekusakuva is ready to take over. Good night. God bless. And please do take care. Aka.